Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I made this quick video just to answer some of the very common questions I'm hearing about this new time and attendance system that we've rolled out for the school, some of the functionality, some of the features. If you're already using the time clock here, logging in and out, and you're not having an issue with that, by all means, continue using that. That's uh, really the primary interface for this system. But I'm also hearing that many of you prefer the timesheet edit system. If you come into your timesheet here, this is where you'll be able to edit and manage and create any timesheets moving forward, whenever you're most comfortable, whatever you're most familiar with. So for instance, today is Thursday the 14th. If I wanted to change the time I signed in this morning or signed out, I'll come over here to this little edit pencil. I'll click on that. And this gives me the ability to change my sign in and sign out times. Now, as a reminder, when you're signing out for lunch, how that works is you sign in in the morning, you sign out for lunch, then you sign back in, and then you sign out at the end of the day. This creates two separate time events for the day that are summarized down here on the bottom of that daily timesheet. So it's very simple. Again, this little edit pencil here. Another common question we've received is what if I want to create a timesheet for a future date, such as tomorrow, Friday the 15th? Well, you can actually do that. For instance, if I've put in for a sick day or a vacation day for tomorrow, Friday the 15th, I can go up here. I can add the timesheet put in the 15th with the correct location and job type, click OK. And there we have it. The timesheet for tomorrow the 15th is here. And if I have an approved absence in time management, such as a sick day or a vacation day, that will auto populate in here. And you'll see however many hours that you put in for, will populate here in the summary. And you could go ahead right now and submit this if it was the end of the pay period. So we have the technology for that as well. Now, another common question, I'll delete that. Another common question we're getting is, for in instance, if I'm a para and I have morning duties and afternoon duties that are tracked separately for payroll, I can go up here and add a separate timesheet for today, Thursday, for my morning or afternoon duties. So I'll go up here, I'll add a timesheet, Thursday, today. And if I'm a pair with extra duties, I will select that job type here and it will add a separate timesheet for today that I can edit, sign in and sign out and submit that timesheet for payroll purposes. They'll know which budget lines to pull that timesheet from. Once we get used to this system, it'll all make a lot more sense. As a reminder, we are no longer tracking stipends in this system. So just continue using the paper logs as you always have. Submit those quarterly, bi biannually, however that's been done. That's not an issue. Some of the other key features, we go back to the home button. Back to the landing page. Your work detail here will give you sort of an itemized breakdown of what your work week has been like. Sign in, sign out, whatnot. It's similar to what your approval will see at the end of the cycle when they're submitting to payroll the approved timesheets for their department. Very slow today. Alrighty, so change pin, mobile barcodes, those are more for the substitutes. We won't even be having substitutes track in frontline moving forward. We've decided against that. The schedule widget will show you the master calendar schedule for your position by month down to the day. That's handy. Now there are other widgets 
you can add here, customize it as you'd like. I'm gonna add a widget, quick links. Let's see, there is, what's a good one? Ah, my leave balance. How many sick days do I have left? How much vacation days do I have left? When I add this widget to my landing page, I can just go in and check it anytime. I know this was quick. I hope it was helpful. Reach out to me anytime. Only things I would like to emphasize is anytime you make an edit to your timesheet, remember to save the changes. And we are submitting our timesheets bi-weekly. So at the end of every pay cycle, that's when you'll hit submit. This will send it into the queue for your approver. Then the approver will approve it and it will go to payroll. It's that simple. If you have any questions, reach out to me anytime. Thank you so much for your patience. Have a great day.